I found this living statue really fascinating, but trying to get a picture of it was proving very difficult. There were just so many people gathered around it. Anyway, I got myself into this position here. Had to turn the camera so it was in the portrait mode just to squeeze through between these people on the side. But even then, there were people walking behind the living statue as well. So what I decided to do was take a number of pictures. I took five altogether, sorted through them. These were the best two that I had. This one with just two people in. Then if we look at this one here, the people here, there's all right, there's three of them, but they're in a slightly different position. We're in bridge. We're going to take both of these images into Photoshop and we're going to stack them into layers. So to do that, I'm going to press down. We've got one selected. I'm going to press down command or control. I'm going to click down. Now both are selected. We're going to go up to tools, Photoshop, down to load files into Photoshop layers. Now when I click on this, as I've mentioned, it's going to bring both files in. They're raw files incidentally, so but it's taking it straight into Photoshop. There's one image, it's now going to bring the other one and there they are, they are stacked together in layers. Just switching this off and on, you'll notice they are not aligned in any way, shape or form. In fact, they're well out of alignment. Uh, the other thing is just select the picture that you want. So in other words, if you've got one with the least number of distractions, put that one on top. Experiment. And even though we've got this guy here, we've got this little girl, I found this to be the best image. So this is the one I'm going to use for the top layer. Right, this is highlighted. Bring your cursor down to the layer underneath. Press down Command or Control. Now click down both are now highlighted. We're now going to go to edit. We're going to go down to auto align layers. Now with auto align layers, yeah, we're going to be using auto. So let's click on OK. And within a matter of seconds, look at that, just switching this off and on. And it has done a pretty amazing job. Right, let's pick up the crop tool because we need to get rid of this, uh, the areas around here down the side where we got all this checkerboard background. Clicking on it, as you drag it down, you'll notice it suddenly snap. This has now snapped it to the layer underneath, the second layer in our layers panel. Let's click on the bottom. Let's lift this up into that area. Then I'm going to take it just a little bit more into this position. Let's bring this side in, taking it into that area. That will do nicely. Let's bring the side in as well, just taking it to that position there. Just looking down the side. Double clicking to apply, job done. Right, next, we're going to add a layer mask to the top layer. So clicking on this, this is now a live layer. Going down, clicking on that, and in goes the layer mask. Coming over to the toolbox, we're going to pick up the brush tool. I got black as my foreground color. Using Command 0, Control 0, we're going to go to fit on screen. No, we're not. I'm going to use Command 1, Control 1 to zoom into 100%. Brush just a little bit too big. Just right clicking, you can see I've got a 400 pixel. It's a very soft brush, it's 0% there. So I'm going to drop this down, perhaps about 100 pixels. Yeah, that's fine. Pressing enter or return will remove that panel. Stay, thank you. Right, clicking down and you can see the way we can just remove that. Let's get rid of that dark area as well while we're at it. And you'll notice, look how perfectly aligned these are, just making sure we get rid of all the little telltale signs here and in that area, right over this part. And this is where you think, right now, I've got to be careful, got to go around the shoe, just going around. Perhaps I should change brushes. No, you don't, just go over it. How simple and easy is this? Right over that area, scrolling down, getting rid of that part and into there as well. There, that will do nicely. Using Command 0, Control 0, we're going to go out to fit on screen. Coming to this little girl, let's take the size of this brush up into that position. That would be pretty good like that. And if we go over this, we're removing the little girl. We're revealing this lady stood behind at her table with her chair selling something. And if we come down around here, we can just get rid of that. And this is the reason that I decided to use this picture is because we got this lady looking at the living statue. We got this chap here looking at the living statue. And I thought the two of them I thought the interaction was pretty good. Otherwise, I would have just cropped in on this area here, but I've decided to leave it like this. 
but we're not going to leave it like this because we've got an arm in the picture. So let's put in a new empty layer. So I'm going to add a new empty layer with this layer one. We're going to bring our cursor over that little title there, double click in. It is now highlighted. I'm going to call this clean because this is the layer we're actually going to clean the image up and when i say clean it up we're going to remove distractions such as this arm so let's pick up the clone stamp tool now with the clone stamp tool i've got an 80 pixel brush that should be okay we've got the uh, mode set to normal opacity flow is 100 the aligned is ticked and this is the very important thing sample make sure you select all layers because after all we're going to be using the layer underneath and part of this layer here as well. So make sure you click all layers. Right, bringing the brush into this position here should do. And if I press and hold down the Alt or the Option, that brings up the target tool. So I'm going to pick up from here. So now clicking down, that's the pixels I've got. Bringing my brush up, I get a little bit of a clue as well. So I get a little bit of a target there. I can come down and around here. I'm just going to go over that and there it is. That's just got rid of that part. Bring in my brush up here. I'm going to press and hold down alter option. There's the target picking up the edge of the curbstone. Bring it up once again. You get a bit of a preview. So I can align that if I just go down and around and it paid. Don't use too big a brush. I think that's part of the secret. If you use a big brush that's just too big you start to pick up other distractions let's just let me show you if I take the brush up into that size there if you get a little bit greedy you get a little bit close there if you bring it over notice how I've now picked up a part of that box all right you might not mind you using another collection box but uh, no let's come down to this area here clicking down coming up into this position just removing that coming out to the edge dropping the size of the brush down left hand square bracket will do that just using that uh, preview so I can line it up going over like this and now coming in to the gray part once again using the alter option picking it up with the target bringing my preview out and if we go over that and just up a little bit there perfect looking pretty good like that. Incidentally, when I say the clean layer, you can use this to clean anything up. If we pick up the spot removal or spot healing brush to give it its correct title, bringing this out, if you wanted to get rid of any distractions, just go over it, gone. I actually quite like this graffiti, so I'm gonna leave that as it is. Anyway, there is our finished image. Uh, if I just switch this off, you can see there's those, uh, or that elbow. Switching off and on is also a good idea because if I press S on the keyboard, I have spotted a little bit of blue. So once again, pressing down the Alt or the Option, coming up and just removing that. Gone, that looks better. Right, now switching off and on again gives you a good idea. If I just leave it switched off, if I just come down to the layer mask, if I press Shift, that switches the layer mask off. If I switch this layer off, and you can see that's what virtually what we started off with. We've used the auto align. We've cleaned it up. And if I just switch the mask, there it is. There is our finished image. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. That way you'll get all the new videos as they're being released. But until the next time, it is happy imaging and take care.